Compressed natural gas, a standard for safety. There are over 250 million registered motor vehicles in the U.S. using over 450 million gallons of fuel each day. Almost 50% of that fuel is imported, which greatly impacts our balance of trade and energy security. Newer vehicle designs may have increased fuel efficiency and reduced emissions, but use of natural gas as an alternative fuel further reduces the emissions while reducing oil imports with a plentiful, less expensive domestic fuel. Within the last few years, the proven reserves of natural gas in the United States has increased to over 100 years. The use of improved technology in horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing has led to natural gas recovery from tight shale gas formations. Natural gas is delivered by existing natural gas pipelines across the U.S. to over 70 million homes and businesses for heating, cooking, and manufacturing processes. These same pipelines can deliver natural gas directly to fueling stations where the gas is compressed and delivered to compressed natural gas vehicles. This new abundance of natural gas has led to a reduction in cost providing vehicle owners a 30 to 60 percent reduction in fuel cost. There are over 100 makes, models and engine families of CNG vehicles available and in service in the U.S. today. These range from light-duty sedans, vans, SUVs and pickup trucks to medium-duty commercial trucks and vans of all types to heavy-duty waste haulers, transit buses, street sweepers, dump trucks, short-haul delivery trucks, yard hustlers and long-haul tractors in interstate commerce. These vehicles are available directly from the original equipment manufacturer, small volume manufacturer, and qualified vehicle modifiers. The proper installation of the CNG fuel storage system is a key factor in the overall safety and reliability of the vehicle, whether it is installed on the OEM production line or by a qualified vehicle modifier. One thing that all of the CNG vehicles have in common is the need to store enough natural gas on board to provide the necessary driving range. Natural gas, which averages about 93% methane, is lighter than air and therefore has an energy density much less than liquid fuels. The natural gas must be compressed at the service station to a pressure of about 3600 PSIG and then dispensed to the vehicle and stored on board in a pressure vessel to provide an adequate fuel supply. This is where we get the term CNG or compressed natural gas. Pressure vessel technology has been around more than 100 years. You might not notice but pressure vessels are commonplace in our everyday life. From the low pressure spray paint cans to air tanks for paintball guns that operate at pressures between 3,000 and 4,500 pounds per square inch, to scuba tanks and firemen's air supply cylinders, to oxygen tanks for the sick, and industrial gas cylinders that provide a variety of compressed gases to medical applications. The development of the CNG cylinders has been built on the extensive experience gained from this long history of pressure vessels designs and applications. As with all pressure vessels, the design requirements for the CNG cylinders include consideration of the type of service the cylinder will see, including expected life, weight requirements, fill cycles, impact resistance in case of accidents, environmental exposure, performance if exposed to fire and other considerations to meet the safety and reliability requirements for vehicular fuel systems. In the early 1990s, NGV industry brought together industry stakeholders, research organizations and regulatory agencies to start the development of a standard for CNG cylinders. The standard 
was based on existing pressure vessel standards and placed no limitation on materials and methods of construction, considered both internal and external container environments, and most importantly, incorporated a certification process for design, manufacturing, and quality control. The standard ANSI NGV2 is now in its fourth edition. At the same time, the U.S. Department of Transportation's National Highway Traffic Safety Administration published regulations to cover the use of CNG cylinders as vehicle fuel tanks under FMVSS number 304. Regulations covering the fuel system integrity in FMV SS-303 will be discussed when we cover crash testing of vehicle fuel systems. One of the important design considerations for CNG cylinders is weight reduction, especially where large volumes of fuel need to be stored. Weight reduction of cylinders has been achieved by several means and has led to four type classifications of cylinders. The type 1 cylinder is all metal and has achieved weight reduction by using higher strength materials and production technologies. Composite cylinders use a combination of materials for construction. Type 2 cylinders have a thinner metal body and are hoop wrapped with resin impregnated high strength fibers such as glass or carbon. The type 3 cylinder uses a thin metal cylinder and is fully wrapped, including the dome ends, with the same high strength fibers and resin. A type 4 cylinder uses a non-metallic liner and is fully wrapped with resin impregnated fibers that can take the full stress of its compressed gas. As we stated earlier, the pressure vessel or cylinder standards were originally developed for industrial gas cylinders not specifically for NGV applications, and they included production tests such as hydrostatic test and leak test of each cylinder and batch tests such as burst test, cycle test, and coating thickness and adhesion test. Many of those tests have been carried forward to NGV applications. Additional design qualification tests were added to address specific NGV conditions including ambient cycling test, environmental test, extreme temperature cycling, hydrostatic burst test, composite flaw tolerance test, drop test, bonfire test, penetration test, accelerated stress rupture test, permeation test, natural gas cycling test, and the leak before break test. The bonfire test is essentially a fire test that replicates a vehicle fire. The cylinder and the pressure relief device as part of the safety system are exposed to a fire and the pressure in the cylinder is released by the PRD before any possible failure of the cylinder. The drop test is designed to replicate potential physical impact damage to the cylinder as may happen in a vehicle accident. The cylinder is dropped from a specific height onto the dome in one test and onto the sided wall in another. The cylinder must still pass the designated burst test with no degradation to pass the drop test. The penetration test uses gunfire to replicate through wall damage in an accident. The cylinder will release the gas at the penetration point but will otherwise remain intact. FMVSS-303 requires OEMs to crash certain vehicles to show the integrity of the CNG storage system on vehicles. In this video, a crash test for a school bus involves an approved moving contoured barrier impacting the side of a CNG school bus at about 29 miles per hour. To pass the test, there must not be a leak on the fuel system. The next test run shows the rear end impact. The frame of the vehicle absorbs the impact and there is some movement of the fuel system, but as before, it must not leak any of the stored CNG to meet the safety requirements. In addition to the design of the CNG cylinders, the proper installation of CNG cylinders on the vehicle is key to the overall safety of the fuel system. 
The cylinder should be installed according to the code requirements listed in NFPA 52. Since CNG cylinders may require additional space on a vehicle, selecting the best location, mounting the CNG cylinder with cylinder manufacturer approved brackets and adding shielding as necessary requires different designs according to the type of vehicle and its operational requirements. A light duty sedan may have cylinders mounted in the trunk, while a van may have the cylinders mounted inside the van or underneath with appropriate shielding. A pickup truck can have a larger cylinder mounted in the truck bed under a protective cover. Larger trucks can have the CNG cylinders mounted behind the cab or mounted as saddle tanks that are a typical location for diesel tanks. Some vehicles such as waste haulers will mount the tanks on the roof similar to transit buses. Consideration is given to purpose-built shielding to protect the cylinders from exposure to external damage. The code also requires that the CNG cylinder and the fueling receptacle be labeled with the inspection and end-of-life dates of the cylinders. The NFPA 52 code requires that each cylinder be inspected periodically for any damage to ensure continued safe operation. The cylinder inspector should be trained and certified to perform the inspections by CSA standards or by the cylinder manufacturer. The inspection is primarily a visual inspection for any deterioration or damage to the cylinder. As per the codes and the cylinder manufacturer's recommendations, any cylinder found to be damaged should be removed from service and decommissioned in the same manner as cylinders should be at the end of their life. Each CNG cylinder has a label affixed that state that the cylinder should not be used after a specific date. That date is referred to as the end of life date. As required, each vehicle should also have a label at the fueling receptacle that indicates the same end of life date. Once the cylinder has reached its end of life date, it must be removed from service decommissioned and properly disposed of. There are several steps that should be taken to safely dispose of the cylinder. First, the cylinder should be defueled as per the manufacturer's instructions and then the cylinder valve should be removed following the cylinder or valve manufacturer's instructions. Care must be taken to ensure that the cylinder is completely depressurized prior to removing the valve. The cylinder should then be purged with nitrogen gas and the interior of the cylinder checked with a flammable gas detector to ensure that no combustible gas mixture is present. The next step is to make the cylinder unusable as per the cylinder manufacturer's instructions. In the case shown here, two one half inch holes are drilled through the sidewall at the cylinder label for ease of verification. The cylinder can then be safely transported to a scrap yard for disposal. The safety record of CNG vehicles has been exemplary. CNG fuel systems and cylinders, when designed, manufactured, installed, and maintained by the existing codes and standards, have a history of safe and reliable operation for their expected life. There are well over 130,000 natural gas vehicles operating in the U.S. today. With the expected continuation and the price differential between natural gas and liquid fuels, there will be accelerated growth in the use of natural gas vehicles in the years to come. The safe and reliable compressed natural gas cylinder is an important part of this transformation to natural gas as a vehicle fuel.